But he he was he was kind of a corker uh, old man. Rafe Drake was he uh, he he fought in the Civil War, and he got his nose uh, bridge of his nose knocked off, and he had a had a kind of a foggy look in on his eyes, and it looked like his eyes were going uh, he couldn't see. So his colonel came up to him and said. We, we're going to send you home. Said we can't have people out here blind. Said you going to have to go home. We're going to send you. And he said, uh, but now he said we need men bad. And if and when you get your eyesight back, we're going to expect you to reappear here and and help us because we we need need men, soldiers. And so my grandfather uh, came home, and he. Uh, uh, got well, he got his eyesight back, and uh, the colonel heard about it, and he wrote him and told him, said, Rafe, we giving you notice that we understand that your eyes have cleared up, and we want you back here to join your outfit, and they were, things were really bad up there then, so he said, uh, well, I don't think I'm going to come, he said, well, if you don't, we're going to put you up, stand you up to a tree and blow your brains out. And said, that's what we're going to do. And, and they did that back in those days. They, they were rough on them. I mean, they, they, they forced them to fight, you know. So he said, okay, that's the way it is. So he built him a, a boat, a handmade boat, and got him a couple of three paddles. And he... Uh, uh, Went to, down Cateco Creek to Tennessee River, and then he got on the Tennessee River, and when he got up to where Decatur is now, uh, he uh, ran into problems. It looked like he heard the firing going on. He said, well, he'd just wait on the bank there of the river until midnight, and then he'd sneak through down the river. So he, he uh, right at midnight, he headed down the river. Well... When he got half, half, about halfway through his trip past Decatur, uh, the, of course the north was on the north side and the south was on the south side, and both both parties were firing at him. I mean, he came close to getting killed. Uh, they, uh, they they did have a a, a couple of, of pellets hit his hit his boat, but it didn't sink it did the upper part, so it didn't sink. But he, he did a lot of fast paddling, I understand then. So he, he, he made it up the river and made it back to his outfit. And it wasn't long after that the war was over. And he came home and uh, he, uh, 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 when he got home, he decided uh, he applied for a pension. And they gave him a pension, $7.50 a month. So he didn't do too well there, did he? <laughs>